5 Crazy Things Narcissists Do When You Leave Them The most dangerous part of a narcissistic relationship is when you try to leave them. When you try to go your own way and sever ties with them, that is when they lose their minds and they rage. And they become life-threatening. It typically has a very bad result or outcome because they do things that are very dangerous. They endanger your life. And it's not because they're trying to love bomb you. It's not because they're trying to suck you back into the relationship. It's not even because they're trying to punish you. Those are things that they do later on. There are things that they will do immediately once you leave them to instantly destroy you. And that is what I will be talking about in this video. One, they will file a false police report against you. They will make a false accusation about you to the police. And whatever they're accusing you of will typically be something that they lay the foundation for weeks or months before. So that people already feel sorry for them and they already see you as the monster. So when they make their move, there will be an army of flying monkeys who will believe them and support them. They may accuse you of cheating, and they may even accuse you of assaulting them, and to them it won't even seem like a lie. They will actually believe it. They will gaslight themselves, because they believe that they're always right. They believe in their own delusions, and they seek absolute power and control over you. They seek to punish you for what they see as you failing them, and in their minds they are above the law. They see the police as their minions, as people who are meant to do their dirty work on their behalf. Because narcissists see themselves as uniquely special and flawless, and yet in their minds they are always the victim. They will convince you that your emotional reactions to their abuse are the problem, rather than the abuse itself, because they are unaware of what they are. They lack insight, object constancy, and whole object relations. They are delusional, they live in a distorted reality, and they file false police reports to pull you into this distorted reality, which may cause you to feel discomfort, disgust, and loathing. They will make these allegations, and sometimes it may be out of panic, but once they've made the allegation, they have to go through with it. Until they're forced to accept it as the truth. Because they can't go back in it once they've made these allegations. But they will use it to confuse you and to show you who is in control. They will also use it to shift the responsibility onto you. Because they do not like being exposed. It will be used as a tool to break you down and to make you suffer because they want to win, they want to defeat you and they will use anything as a tool to achieve that. But what they won't do is accept accountability or the consequences of their own actions. They will always make it out to be someone else's fault. They cannot connect bad results or consequences to their own actions no matter how ridiculous the situation may seem. They will engage in legal abuse and they will use covert institutionalized tactics of power and control where they will make false reports to child protective services claiming that you are an unfit parent or they will contact immigration services to control you or they may even file petitions for involuntary commitment to mental health facilities which is all a form of psychological abuse where they will weaponize policies and protocols to retaliate against you 
which they may use in courtrooms, immigration detention centres and mental health hospitals. They will abuse laws and procedures because they want to disempower and silence you to make you feel afraid, alienated and ashamed. And the authoritative nature of investigatory proceedings may even pressure you to doubt whether you are actually innocent. It may cause you to gaslight yourself, which further serves the narcissist's abusive agenda. They will retaliate through courts, resulting in more surveillance, more invasions of privacy, and more stricter routines, until many victims may have to rely on high doses of tranquilizers in order to function effectively because the narcissist will never tell anyone the truth. And the truth is that you are escaping an abuser. The truth is that you are just trying to protect yourself and your children. But the courts and the police may not understand the subtlety of these matters. They may not understand the seriousness of it. And several studies show that police officers are more likely to have narcissistic traits, psychopathic traits and Machiavellianism. Some narcissists may even be affiliated with the police, and they may use the police to intimidate you. Because narcissists learn from an early age that having friends in law enforcement is a great advantage to them. Because their whole lives are about theft, manipulation and deception. And from their point of view, everything you own is theirs. They just don't have possession of it yet. Which is why they will work tirelessly from the very beginning to ensure that they retain possession. And once you understand this, it will become easier. You will no longer be as shocked or surprised because you will accept that they will do anything to get what they want. Whenever you try to hold a narcissist accountable, they will play the victim. They will smear you. And they will accuse you of doing what they did to you. Until you're taken back to them like a prisoner. 2. Non-consensual pornography They will post sexually explicit images or videos of you online without your consent, which is a form of sexual abuse. And it may leave you feeling violated and with no sense of control over the situation because it is motivated by their desire to maintain control. They may be trying to force you to stay in the relationship by threatening to share images. Or they may be seeking to punish you for leaving the relationship. In one survey of 3,044 Americans, they found that about 1 in 12 participants reported being a victim of non-consensual pornography. The sudden loss of privacy can cause you to feel exposed, ashamed and terrified to go out in public. It may even prevent you from reaching out for support, and it can lead to social isolation and impacting your day-to-day -day health, which is exactly what they want. Because they want you to feel trapped and oppressed. They want you to see this world as a big cage, where there is nowhere for you to go. Because nowhere you go would be safe from the narcissist. They want you to see them as your god. They want you to believe that they're present everywhere at the same time, to make you feel helpless. And as though your safest option is to remain with the narcissist, which is why they will take pictures and videos without your permission. You may never recall there being a camera, and then you discover that they have tons of files of you. But remember that it is never your fault. The blame lies entirely on the abuser and their inadequacies and unhealthy views of relationships. They are vindictive because they struggle to deal with their own emotional pain. They cope by using non-consensual pornography 
to inflict emotional pain and tear you down. Because they are jealous, possessive and controlling, as a result of their own sexual inadequacy. They want to draw attention away from their own shortcomings by humiliating you instead because they are afraid of losing the relationship. So they use non-consensual pornography to exert control over you and to force you into staying. 3. They will steal your money and resources. If they have access to your account, they will take out as much money as they can. Or they may even sell your possessions just to leave you broke. Because they want to punish you. They want to leave you with nothing to depend on. So that you have nowhere to go. And you don't even have a car to drive. Because they're heartless, unfeeling and uncaring. They feel no sympathy for you. And after everything you've been through, you may have a little bit of hope left by knowing that you still have a certain amount of money left in your account or that you have a car or a house. But then you soon discover that it's gone. You discover that you are being punished, which causes you to feel traumatized again, even after all of the abuse. Four. They hack into your devices. They get jealous when you don't let them have control over everything in your life. So then they become even more possessive and controlling and they end up hacking your devices. And it will go beyond any basic privacy violation. They will put spyware on your computer and phone. They will install a tracker device on your car. And they will even set up spy cameras in your home. Because they are predators, they enjoy the pursuit, they enjoy stalking their prey. They are addicted to gathering secret information on you because they receive a mental cocktail of adrenaline and dopamine every time they feel like they're onto something or if they feel you slipping away. It motivates them to re you and to prevent them from experiencing a perceived danger or loss. It stimulates and excites them. It gives them a sick thrill especially when you are unaware of it and then they will gradually leave little hints or clues they will give you little puzzles to piece together and figure out because they also like the feeling of you being onto them being chased makes them feel important which is why even when they tell you to stay away they may just want you to ignore it and chase them They love it when people chase them for closure, reconciliation, or even chase them to murder them. Because it gives them an ego rush. It's a good source of supply. They enjoy the thrill of the chase. It's the only thing that makes them feel alive. Which is why they will break into your devices and extract as much information as they can. And they will set up spy cameras in your home. Or they may even hack into existing security cameras. They will do anything to get as close to you as they possibly can because you are their life force. You give life to the dead. Which is why they just want to be with you even if you don't want them to be there. Even if you don't know that they are there. 5. They will try to get you fired from your job. They want you to lose anything that protects or secures you anything that stabilizes you because this prevents them from penetrating your soul it prevents them from becoming a part of you which is why they will call your boss and they will make up stories about you or they will send videos where you're reacting to the abuse to make people think that you cannot be trusted so that they can ruin your reputation they don't want you to have or be anything because they know they're not worth anything. So they have to remove all of these layers that made you you. Because that is the only way that they can have you. The irony is that once they do all of this, they no longer want you because then you're no longer you. 
you are no longer the person that they were addicted to. You are no longer the person that they were obsessed with. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.